Well, here we are, folks, the end of Hulk week. Today, we're going to be covering a more controversial topic. Today, we're covering Jeff Loeb's Hulk run. Now, this run is a bit of a mixed bag to a lot of Hulk comic fans. Just why you ask? Well, let's do a deep dive and see why. If I were to summarize Jeff Loeb's Hulk run in a few words, it would probably be one giant Michael Bay film. The reason that I say this is because a Michael Bay film is typically light on plot and big on dumb action. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, I'm usually there day one for every single Fast and Furious movie. However, if you're looking for something a bit more character driven and cerebral, this is something you're probably going to want to avoid. When the series begins, we have the murder of Hulk's longtime enemy, the Abomination. The manner that the Abomination is killed seems to be typical for the Hulk. However, there's one strange problem. Bruce Banner's been incarcerated for a few years. Thus, we get introduced to the Red Hulk. Now, this idea of making different colored Hulks really isn't original, especially when you consider the time that this came out, which was right around the height of Jeff Johns' Green Lantern run where he introduced the different colored rings. However, the overall mystery of who the Red Hulk is in this book is really what carries the weight of this story. The first arc in this is pretty by the numbers, I'm not gonna lie. It's basically just the Red Hulk going around proving that he's the strongest that there is. You have green versus red, red versus green, and so on and so on and so on. And this is kind of where my first complaint is while all these battles are super cool and really awesome to see they're very light on plot in fact the plot really doesn't move along at all and to be honest the next arc really doesn't help it that much either because it just seems like it's an excuse that Loeb wants to use to bring in other characters so they can fight the Hulk characters such as the Watcher and Thor in fact, it kind of doesn't even get better in the other arcs either, it just seems like Jeff Loeb is throwing characters at the Hulk just to see how badass the fight would be. For example, he has a fight where he's fighting the Watcher, and another fight where he's fighting Thor. The reason behind this? None really, just it looks cool. For me, things don't really take off until we're introduced to the Red She-Hulk. It was at this point in the story that I was rolling my eyes so far into the back of my head that I could see my own brain. However, after reading this, I will say though the introduction of Red She-Hulk, it kind of works and it's really a lot of fun. The issue with this is, is that this is pretty damn near the end of his run. It's here though that we finally feel like the plot is advancing. We get the revelation of who the Red Hulk is, who the Red She-Hulk is, and who were the people that changed them. I honestly think this is a book that would have been a lot better had it just been a small 12 to 15 issue series. It cuts out a lot of the fat and you get to the best parts of this run. Ultimately, story-wise, I think this book is at its best when it just focuses in on single characters. For example, the Doc Samson issue is genuinely really great and it's probably the highlight of Jeff Loeb's run. Let's talk about the art for a little bit. This thing is drawn by Ed McGuinness for the most part, and I will give credit where credit is due. Ed McGuinness's art is fantastic when it comes to the action sequences. Now, when it comes to having characters stand around and pose, they can come off as a bit stiff. I don't, I don't hate Ed McGuinness's art. I think in fact, it's actually really well done and I have to give him credit. He draws a mean Hulk and when the Red Hulk and the Hulk go at it, it's pretty badass. Overall, do I think Jeff Loeb's Hulk run is horrible? Not really. In fact, I think it's actually pretty well done. It's just, there's so much fat here to trim. Like I already mentioned, the revelation of who the Red Hulk is is actually pretty genius, and I dig that reveal. And the revelation of who the Red She-Hulk is is even cooler. It just honestly feels like Jeff Loeb had a few cool concepts and a few cool ideas, and he had to stretch them out over a period of 20 plus issues. I rate my books on a pass, borrow, buy scale, and guys, I'm giving this one a borrow. I honestly can't give this the full buy simply because of the fact that this does have problems and it has a lot of fat to cut out of it. However, if for some reason you find this at your local library or if you can get this pretty dirt cheap or you can borrow it from your friend, then I recommend checking this out. I think it's worth a read in that instance. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I do videos Monday through Friday. You could follow me on Facebook and Twitter. That's found in the description below. And if you want, there is always the Patreon. Guys, let me know in the comments what you thought about Jeff Loeb's Hulk run, and I will speak with you soon. I love you. Have a great week. Bye.